OK, so in this tutorial, we're going to look at coupling in a bit more detail and how we can reduce it. So if we look at the pre-spring sample 2 project and open that up, and then go into source main Java, we see the similar code to last time where we have in the top level package of com.den of programming, we have the client class. And in the service package, we have the message printer service, which prints out our message. And then we have two implementations, or concrete implementations. One does a basic message of the day, if we open that up. An implementation of the get message method. And then we have something a little bit more sophisticated, but not much, is the dynamic message of the day implementation. So let's open that. And all we have here really is an array of messages, one for each day of the week, followed by an implementation of the get message method. And basically what this does, it works out what day of the week it is, and then it pulls out the message of the day for that particular day of the week, and it returns it. So there's nothing particularly special there. There have been a few changes since last time. If you remember, in the sample one, we had a hardwired new instantiation of the basic mission of the day implementation. That's now changed. And what we do here, rather than having that hardwired in, we have a setter method. So that now gets passed in and set to the service attribute. Now, there's also one other quite substantial change here, is that we're now talking to a message of the day service, and that's actually an interface. So if we right click that, open declaration, we now have an interface class, and it has the one method on there, get message, which needs to be implemented by all the concrete implementations of it. Now what we can do here is select that, right click, and go open type hierarchy. And we see the concrete implementations of that interface. And now the basic message of the day implementation, that implements that with Hello World, and a dynamic one implements that with the particular message for the day of the week. This is what's known as programming to interfaces. So if we go into the client now, we can see we have a hardwired call to the instantiation of a basic mission of the day implementation. And then we also have an instantiation of the message printer service, and then we pass in the new message service into that. Okay, so the take home point here is that at this point onwards, we're now what's called programming to interfaces. Apart from this little section up here, where we actually instantiate the concrete class, everywhere else, we're talking only to interfaces. As far as the message printer service is concerned, all it knows is it's talking to a message of the day service. It doesn't know what the underlying backing concrete class or implementation class is. If we look into the message printer service class here, you can see it's only ever talking to the interface. Now the advantage of this is that we can swap out any particular concrete implementation we like, and it leaves everything else pretty much the same as it was. So if we decide to use the dynamic message of the day implementation rather than the basic one, we can do that quite easily from the client. Here I've got one commented out, so if we uncomment that, and comment this one out, we have to do the import, so it's Control shift a and save that. You can right click on the client, do run as, Java application. And that's our Monday morning message. If we go back, we can comment that out. 
uncomment the basic one, save it, Control shift o run as Java application, hello world. So we've made a big leap forward here from our first sample in the previous tutorial, where everything was hardwired or tightly coupled. We're now using interfaces here to give us loose coupling. We still have a problem though. We still have this hard wiring of the new to create a new instance. Now in the next tutorial we're going to look at maybe a possible way around that using a factory method. And then after that we'll start looking at how Spring helps us there.